Hi guys, it's Ellie here. I'm gonna do a quick, as I possibly can, video on my personal five top tips on how to stay positive during this time. Um, some of you may have different ways of staying positive and um, they're all perfectly fine. Um, I'm not saying that you have to do everything I'm saying because you don't, it might not work for you, but it's just my personal advice. I would encourage you to leave your advice maybe in the comments below so that if what I'm saying doesn't necessarily work for people, they can have a look at other people's ideas. Um, so yeah, I've got five top tips and I'm going to run through them as quickly as I can and then I'm going to end with two verses from John um, 16 that I thought were really cool. So tip number one, keep busy. I've made a timetable for what I'm going to do each day of the week. And that has helped me to keep my mind busy, keep myself thinking about what I'm going to do each day rather than what's going to happen weeks down the line. It's also helped me kind of take things hour by hour rather than trying to stress too much about where we're going to be in a month's time. Um, try and get outside at least once a day. Go for a walk, run, cycle, whatever it is you want to do. Um, obviously, safely. Um, or even if you can't do that or don't want to do that, just go and sit in your garden or whatever it is that you can do just to get outside amongst the fresh air. Um, it's a lot, I've realised doing that is a lot more helpful than you might think. You might think, why would I do that? That's boring. But it will actually do you a lot of good. Um, also, set yourself a goal to try and like complete by the time this is all done. So for me, for example, I've picked up my clarinet again um, and I'm reteaching myself a piece of music that I never got the chance to learn when I was being taught. Um, and I plan <laughs> on being able to play it by the end of this, but we'll see. <laughs> um, tip number two is stay talking to people, um, keep communic communicating with people, check up on each other up group chats facetime is probably one of the best things in my life at the moment um and talk to people none of your no no feeling that you're having at the moment whether it's something that you're worried about that you might think is really irrational it's not not in a time like this um so speak about those things it's really really important to get those things out there so that you can be helped and yeah it's just it's a good it's a good thing to stay open with people at the moment, um, even when you're stuck at home. Tip number three, stay away from the fake news. Um, a lot of articles and stuff tend to over-exaggerate. We, we all know that even in times when the coronavirus wasn't a thing, there have always been articles out there that over-exaggerate just for viewers, for readers. Um, so keep that in mind. It's definitely good to stay informed about what's happening, but don't overdo it because you're just not going to do yourself any favours um, and you'll just make yourself go crazy. It's it's not, a lot of it's not even worth it. So maybe even turn your phone off so that you're not tempted to look at it too much um, and just go and do something else. Uh, tip number four, probably the most important tip that I'm going to give you is try to maintain your relationship with God. Listen to worship music, uh, get people to pray for you. I asked Alicia Ayres for prayer last week and she typed out the prayer to me and sent it to me or you can do it via voice notes or even over FaceTime, whatever it is that you feel comfortable with. I would urge you to keep doing that with your friends. Um, Journaling, if it's your thing, I would recommend it. I'd also recommend the Bible app plans that they have there. They've got loads of stuff that's really helpful. Um, and tip number five is try and stay as positive with each negative thought you have. So if you're like, this sucks, I don't want to be at home anymore. Turn that into a negative and think, I'm going to get so much done. And then when I'm out, when this is all over, I can see all my friends again and it's going to be great. And we can all hug and everything's going to be amazing um so yeah those are my five tips i've run through them really quick because i don't really have enough time so if you have any questions do 
message me and I will try, maybe try and elaborate on them a little bit more. Um, but to end, I'm going to give you two verses from John 16, verses 32 and 33. A time is coming, and in fact has already come, when you will be scattered, each to your own home. You will leave me all alone, yet I am not alone, for my Father is with me. I have told you these things, so that in me you may have peace. In this world you will have trouble, but take heart, for I have overcome the world. Um, and I guess you can kind of take comfort in the fact that Jesus is saying there that he's kind of felt the same thing that we're feeling and he takes comfort in his father being with him so we can try and do the same which takes me back to my fourth point about trying to maintain your relationship with God um it is probably more valuable than ever and really really important and if you don't have a relationship with God maybe now's the time to step out and push yourself out there um whatever it is uh there are people out there to help you um that was really quick and i'm really sorry it's so quick but like i said if you want me to explain any more then just message me um stay safe everyone stay happy stay positive and i will see you very soon